Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be going through the trading exchange buy bit. Primarily because tomorrow we start the trading competition with that prize pool of obviously up to $70,000 and there has naturally been quite a lot of questions as new people are coming across to buy bit to use the exchange. Uh, so I want to go through some more advanced topics possibly of like laddering in orders, multiple take profits, uh, as well as some of, some of the basic functions. So everybody's on the same level playing field when it comes to how to actually use the exchange. Uh, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, let's, let's, get, let's get into it. So Bybit. Firstly, the advantages of Bybit, why this is the only exchange I use for cryptocurrency trading, the altcoins and Bitcoin. Really simply, they have the best fees. Okay, so obviously the biggest competitors to Binance will be Coinbase or it will be Binance. Coinbase is an okay for fiat trading. If you want to trade against, you know, Great British Pounds or Euros, then they're obviously good for that, but their fees are not great. Binance, the reason I personally don't like it is their fees, again, are expensive in comparison to Bybit, as well as the ease of use. It's, in my opinion, very difficult to get your way around Binance. There's a hundred different menus. The funding, you know, the way that they do margin trading, where you're borrowing money from them, is just, it's just a really complex system. And I just like ease of use. Okay, so I want my exchange to be really simple. I don't want them to make it extremely hard for me to do things. I just want to get in, trade, and get out. I don't want to have to go in, borrow money from them, remember to pay it back, and, you know, all these complex systems. I just want it to be really, really, really simple. I want to know how to buy, how to sell, and, that, and that's it, okay? So that's why I love Bybit. It is the simplest exchange you can get. It's very easy. And they also the cheapest. So they will literally pay you to enter orders. Whereas, you know, Coinbase and Binance, you have to pay them to enter your limit orders. So by far, that is a massive, that is a massive advantage of Bybit. Also, you will not have any downtime. You know, we've had no downtime on Bybit. It's not going to have volatility and suddenly go offline like some exchanges do. Some, you know, for example, Kraken. You know, whenever you get a bit of volatility, the exchange just goes offline. It's obviously a, a really massive disadvantage. So yeah, that, that's just to start off with why I personally absolutely love Bybit. It's very easy. It has the best fees in the whole of crypto and you're not going to have off offline issues. Okay, so that, that's the start off with why why we're going through by bit and why we why i personally absolutely love it so so to start with here then really simply we're going to be going through how to enter how to exit multiple take profits etc etc so the first thing that we're going to have to do is obviously get into a an order to place limit orders really 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 simple uh let's say that we wanted to buy okay we could really simply click on this price right here click on that and that will enter the order price into this box. Okay, we see we click on 4262, that will enter 4262. 4251, 4251. The example that I'm going through here is, is XRP. Obviously on Bybit, you can trade XRP, EOS, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and against Tether, you can trade uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Link, Litecoin, and Tezos. I'm going to use the example of xrp simply because i have orders that open on other accounts that i don't want to close but the process is exactly the same whether you're trading xrp whether you're trading ethereum whether you're trading bitcoin the process is exactly the same so obviously the only difference is instead of 0 0.4262 it will say for example right now thirty nine thousand bitcoin so that, that that's the you know the process is the exact same so let's say i want to enter this limit order what i would do is click on the price below and i'm i'm interested in buying Okay, and what you can see here, contract value one USD. So one equals one USD. So if I wanted to buy ten dollars of XRP, I'd really simply enter ten. Okay, and ten dollars equals, um, you know, this is how much XRP that we'd be using under under cross margin. Uh, cross margin just means that you're using your whole account balance uh, against the position. Obviously, you can change this to isolated, go down to times one, for example. That just means no leverage. Times one is is no leverage. Um, 
so yeah most people are going to be wanting to just use times one leverage because it's the safest way of trading you have no fear of liquidation okay uh, again this financial includes no financial advice i'm not telling you to use this exchange i'm not telling you to buy anything i'm not telling you to sell anything i'm just giving a review slash walkthrough of the exchange really simply no financial advice but yeah that's that's what cross margin is it basically uses your whole account balance and generally speaking on isolated you, you're not really going to want to use these massively high leverages because it's, it's a pretty dangerous way of trading um so let's say that we want to enter i'm just going to keep this simple and keep everything on one actually we might have to use five for the example so let's say we click on this we've we want to buy four zero dot two zero dot four two five oh that's going to enter that in our order price obviously if we want to manually change this we obviously could we're going to buy five dollars worth of this and we're going to click on buy okay then that will place our buy order in the book so essentially this means if price now drops to this it will buy five dollars of of xrp okay we can we can adjust this on the chart this is what i absolutely love about bybit just being able to adjust this very easily if you try and do this on binance it's impossible you cannot adjust it on the chart so that's this is a massive advantage in my opinion that if i suddenly you know if i have my buy order here and then i see you know thinking that i actually i want to move this it's very easy you know you can see this adjusting this is going to adjust in your active orders tab you, know, you can see the um the order prices is, is adjusted so you're not having to do any of this manually you can just visually place where you want to buy and just drag and drop the order there so that's very 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 nice uh what you can do is let's say that we wanted to buy at that price again you can also just tick this box that says buy long with the take profit and the stop loss so let's say we're trying to buy there 0 0.4249 let's say that we want to place then a, a take profit of 0 0.43 and we want to place a stop loss of 0 0.41 and then we can click buy and what's that what that has done is it's placed our buy order and already we have the take profit and the stop loss set so this will automatically trigger as soon as the buy order occurs so there's no difficulty of trying to think how do i place a stop loss how do i place a take profit how do i do this how do i do it? it's so 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 simple you see how easy really easy that is really simply you just enter your buy order you can place that take profit and you can place that stop loss all within the screen and as soon as you click buy you know it's just it's literally as, as simple as that uh if you want to just enter at market the same process you know for example let's just say we wanted to buy two dollars straight away we click buy that will enter our order at market we can see our position here we have got filled on our position and now let's say we're in the position and we want to place the stop loss um you have a few options in here you got your take profit okay so we could again just put in tick the box and enter our take profit amount so let's say for example 0 0.43 we could place our stop loss of let's say 0 0.42 and we could click confirm and that will now you see it's a little bit more visual when you do it this way that we then have our take profit shown here we have our stop loss shown here you know, it's very 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 easy in my opinion so let's say we want to just remove those out of the books again click confirm that removes that what you can also do is click a trailing stop loss so this means let's say price heads up here i don't know 50 cent and we can say we want a trading stop loss of 10 cent and then so if you enter 10 cents in here then it's going to trail your stop loss up by that amount so for example price goes up and up and up once it let's say price just goes up 50 cent now your stop loss will be trailed 10 cent behind it so then if you drop 10 cent you get stopped out in profits so that's a trading stop loss an activation price usd is basically a, pr a price that if price goes to this it will activate the stop loss at that level uh, i don't really use this last option I, I don't see any use in it to be honest so the main options that you're going to want to use or generally speaking are the, the top three so that is how you would enter exit now let's do some people were asking how do i place multiple take profits really 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 simple we're in a two dollar position here let's say we want to do multiple take profits really simply what we would do is at a, let's say a higher level obviously so let's say we want to do take profit one at 0 0.43 we would obviously to put let's say we want to take 50 percent take profit there we would really simply enter this and then click sell we're in our position and then we've got our first take profit and then let's say our next take profit is 0 0.44 really simply the same again we have take profit one here which would close 50 percent of the position position take profit two here which would obviously because we're in two dollars 
and we've done one dollar on one dollar that would obviously close all of the position that we have that would not enter you into a short that would literally just close the position that you're open yeah, that you have open okay so that's that's obviously on the usd perpetual swaps you can only hold one position at a time um the competition obviously that we are hosting this is a competition only for uh bitcoin okay so although during the competition you can obviously hold xrp you can hold ethereum you can trade all those assets it's absolutely fine um but the competition will only take into regards your results on bitcoin usd it's not going to be affected by anything else so you can you can happily trade ethereum <laughs> you can happily trade link or whatever you want to trade during the competition you can hold those and uh you know that's absolutely fine it's it's not going to affect you in any way the competition is only going to take into regards your bitcoin usd trades okay um was there anything else that i really wanted to cover here um we were had we had lots of questions about the entry and exiting we had questions about the multiple take profits so i hopefully i've explained that uh giving you an example of how you do that we had questions about the trading stop loss obviously the most important thing that people you know need to acknowledge is you know stop losses are there to help you stop losses um yeah uh, you know people enter trades and they will not ha have no stop loss and then they wonder why they lose so much money you no know, stop loss is there to protect you so it's obviously a really helpful feature to have um and i think that's everything for now that i can think of of the questions that we received um i think that we, that there are obviously quite a lot of newer traders into the space at the moment um but yeah that, that was more or less everything that i can think of. oh yeah the one other thing to bear in mind is that on the phone bybit do have an app so let's say you don't have a computer you only have an ipad or an iphone or an android or whatever you only have a phone bybit have a full mobile app so you can do all of this that we've just gone through from the application itself uh you know the official application really yeah it's again really simple really nice that's why i love bybit they just make everything really easy um so yeah that's that's bybit then uh, to end talking about the competition uh if you want to enter this obviously you can come across to the discord this is our free discord i suppose we'll also leave the links in the description below um competition starts in 23 hours it's a competition where there's the prize pool is up to two two uh bitcoin giveaway that depends if we unlock this amount of people we're hoping to see a lot more registrations within the next 24 hours uh, but really simply to enter very simple process you just have to go across to the competition page you must have a new account using our affiliate link obviously that is one of the key rules of the competition if you do not use the affiliate link you will not be eligible for any prizes so uh, if you have an account under somebody else's affiliate link if you have an account with no affiliate link you'll just have to really simply create a new bybit account using our link uh, obviously then deposit bitcoin for the competition again this this bitcoin is yours you do not give it away for entering the competition if you were to enter the competition take no trades you walk away at the end of it with the exact same amount of bitcoin that you had when it started um again this this competition is only going to include bitcoin usd although you can hold ethereum and xrb and tether and whatever you want you know you can do whatever you want during the competition with those assets the only thing that will matter is your bitcoin trading for going up the leaderboards um and I think, yeah, that, that's about it then. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already, go across to the competition page, sign up for that right now, and then you'll be entered into the competition, which starts in 23 hours again. Currently, the Bitcoin giveaway is one, basically one Bitcoin. But the more people that join, we can reach this possibly up to two Bitcoin. Um, but currently, yeah, this will be giving away about 30, $36,000, which is still pretty nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you haven't already, go and sign up hope you've enjoyed this video hope it was beneficial explaining how you get in and out of your positions uh should you have any questions just leave them down below in the comments and i'll be more than happy to help um if not hope you've enjoyed and i will see you inside of that competition cheers everybody thank you and have a brilliant day hope this was helpful cheers